everybody, it's Thomas here from thomasfitzgeraldphotography.com and um, this morning I just wanted to give you a quick look at one of the new features in the latest update of Radiant Developer. Um, what they've done is they've added a new workflow feature that allows you to easily send files from Lightroom or Aperture um, to Radiant Developer and it will match the TIFF to the raw file and then send it back. So before, in order to do this, there was a bit of a kind of a complicated workflow where you would have to either drag and drop the image and then synchronize the folder to get stuff back in. Um, this way makes it much simpler. It will work within Lightroom's normal uh, external editor functionality. So um, rather than just go on and on about it, I'll uh, give you a quick demo and show you what I mean. Now, in order to set this up, you have to do a few things first. So I've already set mine up, but I'm going to show you what I did. So first of all, I'm going to go into the Lightroom preferences and you go over to external editing. And what you need to do is set up a new additional external editor preset. Now I've already set mine up. So what you do is you go in, you select your application. In this case, you want Iridian Developer. Um, apologies to Iridiant if I'm butchering that name. <laughs> um, your file format you want is TIFF, color space, I've set it to sRGB, you could probably set it to one of the other ones, it's probably better. Um, in fact, I'm going to set it to Adobe RGB. And uh, bit depth, I'm setting it to 16 because that's the way I prefer to work. Resolution 240, again, whatever you want to set it yourself. And compression, I've set it to zip. So um, I'm just going to update that. Okay, so once you have that set up, um, you need to set up something in Iridian Developer as well. So let me just launch that. Okay, um, I don't need to open anything for a minute, so I'm just going to get cancel there. No. Okay, I don't want to go into preferences. And again, I've already set this up, but I'm just showing you what to do. So you want to turn this on. So what this will do is when you send a TIFF file to Iridian from Lightroom, it will try and find the matching RAW file. So I'll show you that now in a second. Okay, so that's kind of everything I want to set there. So I'm just going to click OK. And I'm going to go back to Lightroom. Um, let me pick a good image to work with. Let's go with this guy. Oops. Okay, let's go with this one. Just make sure to write file. Okay, so we go edit in, edit in Iridium Developer. So this is the preset I set up a minute ago. Click OK. Blah, blah, blah. That just gives you all the options. Hit edit. So what this does is this is sending a TIFF. Okay, so. Iridient will open and, as if by magic, it's loaded the raw file. So we can go in and do whatever we need to do here. Okay, so that's just a quick edit. Um, obviously, if you're spending more time, you do a better job than that. What I want to do now is I want to send this back to Lightroom. So what you do is there's a new option in the file menu and it's process image and override standard image. Okay, so it's command option E. So all you do is hit that and it'll give you this warning dialog. Hit override original and it will process it out. Okay, and that's done. Back to Lightroom. And there we have it, and it's loaded back in. So you don't have to go do the old method where you had to synchronize the folder or bring it in back in manually. Um, this solves all that problem. And uh, there you have it. So that's just a quick look at one of the new features in Iridian Developer 2.4. Okay, I hope this has been of some use to you and uh, talk to you again soon.